Champions once again, the women of UConn bringing home yet another national title. Now they're getting ready for their seemingly annual victory lap. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. Winning never gets old for the UConn women's basketball team. They captured a 10th national title last night with a 63 to 53 victory over Notre Dame in the championship game down in Tampa, Florida. This was the third straight win for the UConn team led by head coach Gino Oriema. First half of this game, things were pretty tight. The Huskies were then able to pull away in the second half to claim the title. Sports head just John Pearson was live at the game and he talked to the champions when it was all over. It's incredible and you know my senior year to go out like this is nothing better more you could ask for and to be a part of this program and then to be a part of UConn history is just incredible and I'm so glad to be part of it. It feels good because we had to really earn it. You know Notre Dame played really really well and they're a great team and you know they they made it really tough for us. Again tough game by uh, you know UConn standards of course but they did pull through to claim yet another national title. The team celebrating as you see on the court last night cutting down the net. And folks here at home are celebrating the victory today. We're live up on the Storrs campus this noon with reaction from students there at UConn. News H. Brian Spiros there. Is there electricity in the air yet, Brian? Well, good afternoon, Keith. You know, right now it's business as usual here on the campus of UConn. Students going to and from school. There are a few preparations underway outside Gampel Pavilion where the women will be welcomed home later this afternoon. But, you know, we noticed a great deal of students here on campus today and really faculty wearing shirts, hats and jackets with the Husky logo on them. All of them showing their pride and excitement over last night's big win. Today is not your typical Wednesday on the campus of UConn. The university is celebrating the UConn women's NCAA championship win for the 10th time. For me, it's prideful. I've got my UConn shirt on underneath here. We had a little party. Um, we were watching. We were just jumping up and down, and it was really exciting. It's a great time to be a student on campus. Jenna Stone is a freshman at UConn, her first time experiencing a win as a Husky. I was looking forward to just, you know, watching the girls on TV, Gino, just the collaboration, the dynamic is just incredible from last year to this year. It's amazing. Last night, thousands of students watched the game from Gamble Pavilion as the women clinched their third consecutive title in Tampa. Senior forward Brianna Stewart won most outstanding player in the game. It's really surreal, and I think that I, I haven't even had a chance to even think about that, the fact that I've won three national championships, but, you know, I said I want to win four, and, and you can't win four without winning three. And it didn't take long for the co-op store on campus to start selling championship T-shirts. More are expected to arrive in the coming days. And believe it or not, one student says he's the good luck charm that keeps on giving UConn all these wins. I think I'm good luck since I started coming here in the spring. Three years ago, they've won a national championship every year, so I kind of think I've been helping them along. Now, the UConn women are expected to take off from Tampa shortly. They are expected to land at Bradley Airport at 345 this afternoon, and no doubt will be coming back to a state and a university with a lot of excited people. That's the very latest. We are reporting live this afternoon from the UConn campus in stores. Brian Spiros, News 8.